Now we're gonna talk a little bit about how to hang a primary line. This is an Alaris pump. There's lots of different brands of pumps. Each one is gonna have separate channels for um, different fluids, different medications, and they can all run at the same time. Primary fluid should always be somewhere between 500 milliliters and a liter. Um, smaller bags just aren't typically hung as a primary. Um, okay, this actually has a tear and it's real easy to open. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that it's a little bit damp on the inside, but not much, okay? Um, if you have a lot of dampness on the outside, that's a problem. It should be very minimal. Then I'm gonna open the tubing. Again, if I try to open it from this end, that's gonna be a problem. If I try to open it from this end where there's a perforation, then it's real simple, okay? So I'm gonna take out my tubing and most of these little things, the little paper, the little plastic, those aren't necessary anymore, okay? That was to help with packaging. So I'm gonna rip these off. This is the part that's actually gonna go in the pump, and I don't need this, so I'm gonna take that off. So this is my spike, my drip chamber, my tubing, this part is super flexible, and that's the part that's gonna fit into the pump. My roller clamp. Now, before I spike this back, I'm gonna go ahead and close the roller clamp. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a shoe full of water, okay? Now that I've got everything open, I'm gonna go ahead and just put gloves on. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can spike the bag. I could hang it up first and then spike it. I personally find it much simpler to do that in my hand, um, and it just depends, okay? Um, so I'm gonna pull that cap off, okay? And it just comes right out. This one is actually a medication port, so you have no reason to do anything with that. Sometimes these will come from the pharmacy with a little foil cap on those, indicating that they've put medication in it. Now I'm going to take the cap off of this spike. So now I'm going to hang the bag up. And what you're going to see next is I'm going to fill the chamber just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to squeeze real gently and that's going to fill just a little, okay? If I fill it all the way up, I'm not going to be able to see the fluid dripping into it later. So I don't want to do that. If I don't put any fluid in here, this is going to become real turbulent right here and just create tons of air bubbles that I'm never going to get back out. Now, I'm going to turn my attention to the clamp and to the end piece. You don't have any reason to do this over a trash can or a sink. I know lots of folks do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this right here, and then I'm gonna control my flow with that clamp, okay? So I've got control here, and I've got control here. So now I'm gonna move that roller clamp, and the fluid is gonna start to run through. You see, you can follow it all the way down, and you can watch it. And I can see that it's almost to the end. See that? That's where the fluid is. So I'm gonna roll that right to the end. And because I've got my thumb here, it's not gonna leak out, and then I've clamped it back here. Okay? So now we're ready to put this into the pump. And again, each pump is slightly different. This one is just gonna nest right into here and into there. And then I close up. This is clamped in here, okay? That's the way this pump works. It's clamped in here now. I can do anything I want to with this and the fluid's not going to come out. All right, so that's how to hang a primary line.